I'm coming from Rome, Italy, live. And the church bells just started ringing. I don't know if you can hear them. Do's and don'ts for Rome, Italy. So I've been here almost two weeks. And I highly recommend, instead of getting a hotel, get in an apartment. Because then you can live more like a local and go to the supermarket and buy vegetables and fruits and cook something nice for yourself in your own kitchen. I'm in the center of Rome in Trastevere, which is a neighborhood on the Tiber River. I don't, if you've been to Rome, there's a lot of piazzas and um, the more main ones are on the other side of the river. But I like Trastevere because um, there's not a lot of cars. There's people walking around, but there's great restaurants. You can go to the market. There's bars and coffee and patisseries, um, bakeries. So it's really fun to see who your neighbors are. Don't rent a car. I'm telling you, you're not going to find a place to park it. It's really hard to drive here with the traffic. Um, the public transportation is excellent. Do the buses, do the trains. Uh, you can fly in and get on the train and go to the main train station and uh, lots of hotels around there. I'm on the rooftop. My last night with this beautiful rooftop garden. Isn't it sweet? I like to come up here and watch the sunset. So I'm having a cup of coffee. And... Um, do use the transportation. Do stay in touch with everyone, internet-wise. Of course, that's easy to do. So make sure you have good Wi-Fi. So if you have to do work, you can connect. Um, but I've really enjoyed cooking in my own kitchen. So I'm leading my photography workshop. If you ever want to come, it's really geared toward um, people who... A lot of people that come with me have their own business and they're looking for some adventure and some time to themselves and to learn something new and you get, you get time to yourself and you also learn new skills about photography. So you're going to come back with gorgeous pictures. Um, so this day is entirely free for everyone, including myself. It's been really fun to walk around and get ready to go to Sorrento tomorrow. So I recommend, I've been... Um, doing this. I rented a car once in Spain. I was so happy to bring it back. It was so stressful. Um, so along those lines of not renting a car, it's much harder to find a place to park here. Um, so you can take the trains, the ferries. We're taking the train to Sorrento tomorrow, the Amalfi Coast. And then we'll take buses and then we're going to Sicily. So super excited. Uh, let's see, do's and don'ts to continue. Learn some Italian. Um, a lot more people speak English, but don't assume that they do. So ask them if they speak English before you start speaking in English. Um, don't ever assume they know. At least learn like 10 words. So you can ask where the bathroom is. Um, I've been speaking Spanish <laughs> and it's working. Everyone has understood me. Um, because my Spanish is better than my Italian. Don't, um, so don't assume that people know English. Um, but the farther away you get from the main cities, uh, the less likely people are going to be speaking English. So there's that. And uh, I love how in Europe, uh, everybody knows different languages. Not true in the USA. I think we, we all should be learning Spanish for sure. And then do different things in Italy. Um, get outside Rome. There's hot springs, there's the coast, there's Sicily. There's so many good things to eat. And then just walk everywhere. I actually walked eight miles yesterday, me and my students. Isn't that great? The birds, I don't know if you can hear them. So live from Rome, just ask me any questions you want about Italy. I'll be here for... A longer time and I'm really excited that I'm right here in Rome. It's a wonderful city. So, ciao Bella.